bands. They come in all kinds of shapes, colors, sizes. Today we're gonna educate you on some of the basics just so that you're utilizing your band correctly because you can throw one in a suitcase and have an awesome workout anywhere you go. Kyle's demo in here today. He's just doing a basic neutral grip band curl. We just did these earlier in our workouts this week in our shape training program. A lot of you don't understand how, well, I'm too weak, I can't go up to the next band color. If I drop down a band color, it's it's too easy for me. Well, we're gonna go over some of the adjustments right now. Kyle's just doing a slow and controlled curl. One thing with the band that we do wanna stress, always keep constant tension on the band. Don't ever let the band snap. Go ahead and demo some things we see, Kyle, there you go. If people curl or rock or go up or down, we want you to have constant tension throughout the muscle, throughout the full range of motion. Right here, he's going with the elbow, obviously flexing the bicep, down, slow and controlled. Let's say he was repping this out and it got a little bit too difficult and he could hardly do it anymore. To make it easier, foot placement. He brings his feet in a little bit, that takes less tension on the band, therefore he can continue with his curls. If he's still rocking it out, let's say he's doing a higher rep or he comes around for his next set and two feet are still too wide, take one foot out or put him in closer. Now he just took one foot out, so he has less length stretched out at the bottom of the band, so therefore the tension is easier on the band, so he can continue going with that same band. Let's say he was doing a long superset or coming for another round, he can literally put that one foot back on the band there and he can sink his hips. When he lowers his hips down a little bit, again, the band is less, so now his biceps are moving less of the tension on the band. So each band has a wide variation in terms of the amount of resistance that it provides to you. So just by positioning it and moving it like that into different positions, you're gonna get different tensions. So don't think, oh, one band is too hard or one band is too weak. You can have several variations throughout the band. Each band has a lot of different tensions, a lot of different loads. So just by positioning it, here's Kyle's doing another exercise, what we call band pull aparts. To adjust for this, well, first of all, notice how he's going slow and controlled, which is what we want. He's squeezing the rhomboids and traps together at the back, as well as the posterior deltoids. A common mistake we see with this is people try and go across and then they let it spring back, similar to that bicep curl. Well, how does Kyle increase the tension on this? All he has to do is narrow the position that he has his hands on the band and pull it apart. So now he's got a little slack on the outside, but it makes it more difficult on the inside. So just a couple real common exercises, things that we want to educate you on with the bands. Anything else, Kyle, that you want to add to that that you see? Uh, nope, just make sure that you're keeping the band tight, really slow on the recoil and no hyperextending the back. Yeah, that's the other thing, athletic stance, thank you. So we do see a lot of that, so get so get down in that athletic stance. So when we say athletic stance, we want your feet flexed, or your feet flat, about hip width apart, knees flexed a little bit, hips flexed a little bit, and the abs always tight in a leaned over slightly position. Do not hyperextend the back. So those are just some band basics. If you have any questions, direct message me below. And to get into any of our programs, including our award-winning shape training program, voted by you guys, number one in Sioux City for several years now, go ahead and click the link below that I'm gonna put down below and get into a shape trial and we'll get you in the best shape of your life. Have an awesome day, we are out.